Hey everyone, this is a video explaining a theory I have on the second ending to Destiny 2 and I will get into it more after this old lady speaks. Now that I can once again touch the light, I no longer fear my time coming to an end. My chronicle of this red war can now truly begin. Perhaps you'll be in the dedication. Still, so many questions. How did you recover your light from something as dark as the shard? Why were you the one chosen to bring the light back to the world? And why did the Traveler wake from its slumber at all? But the question that consumes me, what if the Traveler chose to be silent for all these centuries? And that silence was for a reason we've yet to discover. And now that it's awake, what happens next? After all, a light this bright will cast a long shadow. Okay, so she's basically saying everything I want to hear at this point. Because when I first seen the second cutscene, the one that is playing right now, my first thought was, okay, it woke something up. It woke up something like a new alien race, a new a new uh, enemy that we're going to have to fight. But the way she says it in the text when you're talking to her, it says that it's a beacon of light or hope or whatever. Or is it a beacon for something else? And how she says that maybe the Traveler was voluntarily sleeping so that way they wouldn't find it it has to make you think that this new uh, race or whatever it is has to be very powerful in my opinion otherwise why would it sleep for centuries like it was it did not want to be found by these things was there other travelers and maybe this thing was eating them I don't know I don't really know what's going on of course we're gonna find out later on eventually but this was just a theory I have and Tyra if you go to her after you beat the campaign she says all this and it was, it was pretty exciting to find all this because it just helps me with my theory that that's what happened at the end of this cutscene is that something woke up. It knows where the Traveler is now and I don't know if it's going to attack Earth again and Earth's going to be taken again or what. Or if we're going to intercept it. But I mean, it's obviously not a single ship. And there's obviously plenty of them so I'm really excited to see where this goes. And yeah, that's basically all I got on my theory. Thanks for watching.